Commerce Soft Skills Trainer from DCPG Department CU and today we are going to learn about collocations. So what are collocations? In simple words we can say two or more words that often go together. These combinations just sound right to the native English speakers who use them all the time. And you can also say other combinations may be unnatural and just sound wrong. So a sequence of words or terms that co-occur more often than would be expected by chance. So the collocations are the combination of words that are often coming together in the sentences to form any of the sense. The topic for today is collocation. Starting with what collocations actually are. If you have been studying English even for a short time, chances are you have already heard or read hundreds of collocations. A collocation is a group of two or more words that is almost always used together. For example, we use heavy rain together or big decision or break a habit, make a mistake. These words are always used together and we don't have a proper definition or a proper reason why they are always used together. It would sound strange if someone said huge rain or large rain instead of heavy rain or large decision instead of big decision. Finish a habit instead of breaking a habit would be wrong. Do a mistake would not be correct in place of make a mistake. So most people would understand the meaning but native English speakers would never combine words in that way. We would not say I am hoping to hear about the large decision later today. We always say a big decision. So the point is that some words go together in English and some do not. There is no grammatical reason why and that sometimes make collocations col uh, collocation difficult for English learners. If you don't know, for example, that big decision is a collocation, it is not so easy to get. Here are a few examples that would make you understand collocations in a better light. In natural English, we say the fast tree, not a quick thing. Or we say fast food, not a quick food. And the same quick is used with shar or with me. That is a quick shar or a quick me instead of a fast shar or a fast me. We do not have we do not have a proper grammatical reason why we use this. It's just that this sounds right and this is the correct pronunciation of the words and these are the correct words that are used together so that the sentence makes sense. After understanding the concept of collocation, we come towards the type of collocation. We have seven different types, starting with the first one, that is adverb plus adjective. So there are the collocations where the words that are used together are one is adverb and the other one is adjective. For example, completely satisfied or richly decorated, fully aware or the other one can be incredibly injured. So here one word is adverb and the other one that's used is adjective. When these two are combined together in a sentence, this is one type of collocation. Now we will study this with the help of a sentence. We entered a richly decorated room. Here richly being the adverb and decorated is the adjective. Are you fully aware of the implications of your actions? Fully and aware being the collocation in this sentence. The second type of collocation is adjective plus noun. Here the words that are combined together out of those two words one is adjective and the other one is noun. For example, we say strong coffee. The strong can be used in place of powerful as well. We do not say powerful coffee. We use the word strong coffee. Similarly, regular exercise. Using these words in a sentence would be the Titanic sank on its maiden voyage. The second one can be he was writhing on the ground in excruciating pain. 
third type of collocation is noun plus noun. The sentence can be, I'd like to buy two bars of soap, please. Here, the words that are used in collocation, that is bars of soap, both are noun. The other example can be a stock option. Option can also be used or can be interchanged with the word choice. But we do not use a stock choice, rather we use a stock option. Similarly, the sentence example can be the ceasefire agreement came into effect at 11 a.m. Or let's give Mr. Jones a round of applause. Here, the collocation that I use are both nouns. The fourth type of collocation is noun plus verb. The words used together are noun and a verb. A boss's request. A boss requests. So that is a collocation. Not a boss's ask. The example can be, snow was falling as a plane took off. The lion started to roar when he heard the dog barking. This is an example for the collocations used in terms of noun and verb. Fifth type of collocation is verb plus noun. We have done noun plus verb but now we are doing verb plus noun. For example, we say, please order some food. We do not say, please demand the food. Here, order and food are verb and noun. Similarly, the sentence can be, the prisoner was hanged for committing murder. Committing, verb, murder, noun. He has been asked to give a presentation about his work. Or the sentence can be, I always try to do my homework in the morning after making my bed. Type 6 of collocation is verb plus expression with a preposition. For example, burst into tears, not blow up in tears. He had to return home because he had run out of money. At first, her eyes filled with horror and then she burst into tears. Their behavior was enough to drive anybody to crime. These are the examples where the collocations used are verbs and an expression with preposition. The seventh and last type of collocation is verb plus adverb where the words used are one adverb and the other one is the verb. Remembering vividly or we can say whispering softly are the examples of word plus adverb used together to form a collocation. The examples can be she placed her keys gently on the table and sat down. I vaguely remember that it was blowing dark when we left. I vividly remember the night of the marriage. So these are a few examples where you can see the collocations used are the combination of a verb and an adverb. After learning about the different types of collocations, I would like to throw some light upon the collocations of more than two words. So collocations can be made from more than two words as well. Here are a few examples. Rear and tear, once upon a time, or deep blue sea, aid and abet. These are the few examples of some words that are collocations and are more than two words combined together to form a collocation. This can also be the case. And another concept we can, which can cause some confusion are binomials. So binomials are a pair of words which are normally linked together by a conjunction or a preposition. But it is not necessary that every binomial can be a collocation. So 
for example space and sound this is an example of a binomial that is linked with a conjunction that is and this is also a collocation space and sound for example side by side that is a binomial linked with a preposition here the preposition is the word by so this is the binomial and not a collocation so there has to be some difference between collocations and binomial this is the major difference that binomials are linked together by a conjunction or a preposition to make you understand collocations a little better we have few examples here is the use of word have to form a collocation have a bath every time these words are combined together in any of the sentences have some rest have a rest have lunch have a holiday have a haircut have a drink these words are combined with the word have being the major word here to form different collocations that are used together second word that we are using here is the word do do is used with a number of other words to form different collocations starting with do business do someone a favor to the homework do your hair do your best to the shopping these words are combined together to form the collocation with the words do third word we are covering here is the word make make a difference make an effort make progress make a noise make your room make your bed these words will be combined together with the word make to form a sentence to form a collocation or to form a meaningful collocation used in a sentence slowly we have the word take followed by the word catch catch a flu catch a ball catch fire catch a cold next word is pay pay the price pay someone a visit pay a compliment pay the bill pay a cash pay a fine sorry pay cash another example word is save with save these words are used together to form collocations like electricity money making it save electricity save money save me a seat save energy save someone's life save space similarly the last word is keep keeping a secret a diary keep calm keep control keep in touch many a times collocations are paired up with prepositions so here we are going to start with a few prepositions the first one is at collocation using at the first one is at first at hand at home at large at last another preposition used here is the word in so collocation using in can be in case take an umbrella in case it rains or in danger in difficulty in english in error he sent the invoices out in error that means by mistake in english please speak in english referring to something that will happen in english in difficulty oh, that means when someone or something has a problem the business was in difficulty after the bank stopped lending them money these are examples of the collocations using the word in as a preposition another example is the collocations used with of of color of duty of god of plan of food here we have been given the meaning where the particular collocations are used and an example of the collocation used in a sentence he has an off road bike or he was caught off guard by a question 
collocations with on on board meaning when you support an idea don't confuse this with on board that means on an aircraft or on ship we've got two investors on board that means we have two people who are in support of an idea the other example is on brand when something is consistent with your brand the video was completely on brand with the rest of the communication on duty when you are officially working she's on duty from 3 pm another example is on edge and we know her on tenth she is bit on edge at the moment as the company is downsizing on file when you keep records of something we keep your details on file after this you can use your own imagination and your own knowledge about the english language and about the collocation that where are the words used with on in terms of collocation another preposition used here or discussed here is the word under you can use under with age as it under age under arrest under attack and the consideration and under construction the plans are under consideration for her website that is still under construction the last preposition to be discussed here as it's using collocation is by by accident when someone is in deliberate i threw the soup away by accident by car by train or by air any means of transport she goes to work by the bus remember the exception on foot not by foot the other example is by chance when something unplanned happens i saw my old teacher by chance today by day or by night that means something happening during the day or at night you can go skiing by day and enjoy the sunset on the beach by night by hand when you do something yourself and not by a machine in the past clothes were made by the hand there is no such rules regulations do's and don'ts to learn about the collocation it's just your use of the words that always come together to make sure that the sentence is more meaningful and more apt when you start learning about collocations and you start using them in the sentences you yourself find that the collocations used is natural and more native in terms of english language now on how to learn collocation the very first and foremost thing is to read that is the only way you can improve your knowledge and vocabulary read about the collocations or the concepts about where they have uh, used it also we have done the exercises you can learn about the collocations through them as well this means first of all you have to start identifying the collocation the things that you are reading what are the collocations is there and then you find a new collocation that you need that you think that is used regularly in something write down in the excel or in the notepad that you are carrying and start using them the second thing is copy that means if you see someone using them in their vocabulary in their talks in their emails in their notes you just start to copy it from there and start using it in your own emails in your own sentences in your own spoken english the third step in learning about collocations is the research just like you read any post or listen to any thing google search about the collocation that you have read research about a specific topic research about a specific word that is used in collocation just like we have done many other words for example do make under stop 
all of these words you can start by collecting some research data from the internet and start using it the other uh, thing to learn is from dictionaries there are many dictionaries available online uh, and uh, you can use those to start understanding the collocations if you can't find them online the oxford dictionary is also available for a copy of collocation this will help you to understand the concept of collocation and you will learn about the specific collocations that you can use in your email in your writing that can benefit you in learning the english altogether we have started about different use different uh, prepositions used in terms of collocations now here is the quiz that you can solve the questions are given and you can have to find out the correct answer from the option the two options are given of the prepositions find out the correct preposition that can be used in the collocation that is given in the question and uh, solve these questions the home task and the practice session for you is to write two or three sentences about your life using collocations that you have heard any daily plans that you have or anything that you have done so far of a day write those in terms of collocation this will help you practice what these are and also it will make sure that you do the sentences in real conversations when you are having and uh, please make sure that in practicing you write all of the things that you have done in terms of only and only collocations thank you